Hi guys. So I decided to do a day in the life of a teacher on break. This is Thursday sometime in June because if I don't have a calendar in front of me or I'm not at school, I don't know what day it is. But yeah, so I dropped the kids off at church camp. It is a day camp with uh, our church and they take a big charter bus to the Franklin campus, which is where the camp is located. And I pick them up around 3.30 and they are having the time of their life. And I love it. Camp was seriously the best part of summer for me. I, when I lived in Ohio, <clears throat> I grew up in a lot of places. Um, we would have, sorry, this hand shakes so bad. So I have to like focus when I'm, so I'm not making a mess. Oh, by the way, this combo of the sinful colors that you can find at Walmart or Target, these are like $2 with the SE gel setter top coat. So you can find this in the nail section and it actually comes in like a box. And I find that it lasts so well and it also shines and just looks very put together for not very much because this is a cheaper nail polish and then I'm just using this on top. You know what I mean? It's really good. Uh, anyways, when I grew up, I went to overnight camp when I think I started in third grade and it was seriously like the best, the best. I loved it. And then when I went to youth camp in middle school and high school, again, it was the best memories, friendships. I really got closer to the Lord. I have so many memories from that time in my life. And so my prayer is for all the kids. So if you're like, you or your kids are going to camp, um, I'm just praying for their health and safety, endurance for the counselors as a teacher, I know. And just an amazing experience, especially with their heavenly father. And so that's where my kiddos are at. Hubby is working. And I wrote my to-do list. And so I just did my nails. Yes, I put my nails on there because I don't love doing my nails. I don't, but I like when they're done. You know what I mean? So then I have a couple things to film for TikTok. I have an Amazon haul to film for you guys here on YouTube. And I need to edit a video I need to make a thumbnail for a video and I need to make a, ugh, I have to do some adulting today. I have to call my dermatologist because last year, TMI, but we're all friends here. Um, I had 11 moles removed and a couple were sent off and they were fine, but I'm a very moly person. And so there are some more moles that need to be taken off. 11 was like the max that you could have. I didn't know. I didn't know there was a minimum or a max, um, but I need probably 11 more and a couple that this one and there's one on my back that I just need to get checked out and also uh, see them about my face. You probably have seen, um, I usually like to cover it up. Like today I wanted to wear makeup because I haven't worn makeup at all this week, but I've been living more free and yes I have redness I don't like the way my skin looks but I'm like going out without makeup and you know trying to love myself the way I am right now so I need to call the dermatologist I need to call my daughter's school to make sure they have because she's going to a different school this fall Isaiah will, will be with me in the middle school I don't know how that's possible so I need to make a couple emails so I have a big list and I already did like a quick hour pickup of the house. It's not perfect. I have laundry, 
What is, comment below your least favorite chore. I don't like dishes, but I'll do them. Laundry, I loathe. I would pay someone to do laundry. Honestly, it's the whole folding and putting them away. That's the part I don't want to do. I like to vacuum. I'll vacuum all day long. And dishes, eh, they're not my favorite. But laundry, hence the door is closed over here. Because there is a mountain. Let's let's be transparent. A mountain of clean, clean clothes on my bed right now that I have put off. And so that's what I need to do. So that is the plan for today. And you're going to just come along with me. And we're going to do a little day in the life. So let's keep this going. So it is now 1230 and I've gone off the to-do list just a little bit, which is the beautiful thing about summer is that I'm not really tied to a schedule, which is nice. So I, for the last two hours, I cleaned, I know I did like a quick clean, but I was like, ugh, there's just, like I said, a mountain of laundry in our room that I tackled and um, picked up the kids room just a little bit, vacuumed, dusted, kind of like that. And then I put on, I'm not fully done yet, but I put on, these new Bible tabs that I got on Amazon. These are book stickers that I'm going to put like on my water bottle and on my new Kindle case. But I got um, Bible ones that I'm going to decorate my front cover and back cover my Bible. If you don't know, I use the She Reads Truth Bible and I cannot, and my sweet Lila, a couple years ago, drew on it. And at first I was like, oh, but then I'm like, I'm going to have these little writings from her forever, which I love. I cannot recommend, recommend this Bible enough. I love it so much. It's in my Amazon storefront if you're interested. It gives context to the book of the Bible, a beautiful work of art with every book, and more context, and then it goes into the scriptures and then it has devotionals in it as well so anyways i got these tabs on amazon for like five dollars also in my amazon storefront um and i put those on and i'm super happy with them i love how kind of like neutral they are and my bible will be there as well and then the stickers that i'm gonna put on here and i'll show you when i'm done i feel very shaky lightheaded probably because i need to sit down and take a break and eat um, I still have to film a couple videos, but my stuff from Amazon is not here yet. Um, but my bestie, Brady, we all know and love is coming over and we're going to the pool because we can, and that's what we're going to do. So I'm going to eat something, sit down for a little bit until she gets here. And then we're going to go sit by the pool. I might bring my Kindle and read and talk, you know, teachers on break. I'm loving it. So my latest obsession is like the, I think it's called the Capri salad with mozzarella, tomatoes, basil, all the things. And if I eat too much cheese, it hurts my stomach. So what I have done is doing sourdough bread with a little bit of pesto, olive oil, and a tomato and balsamic on top um, because it is so refreshing and delicious. But sadly, actually I might have some more sourdough. Um, if you didn't know, sourdough, oh, I have one piece, which is fine. I have one piece left. Uh, today I'm using the Bake Lewis shop one and it's pretty good. Sourdough, if you don't know, is very good for honestly anybody, but it's really good to help with gut health. So what I've been told, cause I don't really know if I have a gluten intolerance or not, but what I've been told by my friends that do, that sourdough is the only bread they can eat besides gluten-free bread. 
I have tomatoes from yesterday, because I made this yesterday, because like I said, I'm obsessed. I have a basil plant outside on my porch that I'm gonna cut. And the bay or the pesto that I use. Okay. These are both from Trader Joe's. This is their pesto that I use and then their balsamic glaze, which I really, really like. And I can also use balsamic just vinegar, um, but I don't think I have that either. And Trader Joe's olive oil. If you didn't notice, I love, love me some Trader Joe's. So... I'm toasting up my bread and I need some protein. I really like these air fried Tyson. I usually get the chicken strips, but the chicken nuggets is what they, what they had. I'm going to pop these in the air fryer and maybe I'll make like a salad this time. So also if you have gut issues or a sensitive stomach and lettuce hurts your stomach, butter lettuce. Sometimes it'll be called living lettuce. I can, oh, I burnt my toast, but that's okay. The living lettuce or butter lettuce is the same thing, is the lettuce that I can eat and it never hurts my stomach. So there's that. I'm gonna make something out of all of this and I'll check back with you guys. All right, sorry my hands are shaking, but I have the toast with pesto, olive oil, a little bit of garlic powder, cracked sea salt, tomato, and balsamic glaze. Mmm. All these flavors explode in your mouth. Oh my gosh, I can't get enough of it. I could eat it every day. All right, so this is lunch. I did butter lettuce. I did the air fried chicken nuggets and then I just cut them up. And then I did carrots, tomatoes, and a little thing of sharp cheddar cheese. And then I'm going to put the lighthouse Caesar dressing and then I put salt and pepper. If you're not doing pepper on your salad, what are you doing with your life? It gives it oomph. This looks so good. All right, it is now. 3.30 and I am picking up the kids from church camp and my energy level has declined. Oh, this makeup. Okay, while I'm waiting on the kids, I thought we could do a little quick chat um, about makeup and skin. So am I seeing like this patchiness because I'm not using a good primer? because I do use primer. And if it's the primer, what primer should I use? Because this is what I get a lot. And I didn't even use a powder or anything. I love my foundation. It covers well. And it's the e.l.f. Camo. It is the... Um, dupe of the It Cosmetics and it's half the price. And I do think it's very similar. So is it because I need to use a different primer or a, you know, or is it the foundation? Because like I said, sometimes I would see this because I used powder on top of the foundation to set it, but I didn't use any powder today. And I use a setting spray. So I need help. Help your girl out. Like, how can I fix this? Because, like, everywhere else, it's okay. But, like, I don't know. Maybe it's the foundation. So, I'm going to sit here and wait for the kids' bus to come. And then I'm going to go back to the pool. Because it's summer. Alright, now it is past dinner time I was mom of the year and got little Caesars hot and ready because I am tired and I didn't want I didn't want to cook so Joey's still out working and the kids are now settled in we swam with um, our friends and ate dinner and with camp and swimming the kids are exhausted which is great and they'll go to bed soon and then I get to read my book 
it was a day. Thanks for coming along with me. If you like these kind of videos, let me know below. And if you are not subscribed yet, I would love for you to hit that subscribe button. And I will catch you guys in the next video. Life can be messy, but there's always joy to be found. Yeah, look, riding through the sunset, got a couple bumps in the road, and I'm probably gonna hit them, yes, sir. Swerving all night, all the curves in the back roads, but we made it back home safe, yes, sir.